Yuzi plays UFC 308. Oh, yeah. Ilya Tuporia versus Max Holloway. Absolute class headline fight. A fight of two fighters that on any given night could win. I truly believe that. And we've got Robert Whittaker versus Kamzat Shimev. Sweden's finest. Okay. So we're going to go to that fight. The other fights we're slightly interested in, but nothing like these two. Okay. Kamzat Chimev versus Robert Whittaker. Whittaker versus Chimev. I'm going to go with Kamzat Chimev, Sweden's finest, because I feel like Robert Whittaker is just going to lose out on the pacing of the fight. I just don't believe that. I think he's going to be tentative. He tends to do feints a lot and jitters. And Kanzak Chimev is going to control him on the ground in the first round, maybe on to the second. Hard to control. Robert Whitaker is strong. He likes to cut in. He likes to use his footwork and he's very light up and down and likes to sort of create the distance. But Kanzak Chimev, I think he's going to maul him with leg kicks, calf kicks. And he's just going to prove too big, too strong. And he's too damn confident, this guy. Even though we've not seen him, I don't think, since Gilbert Burns. He's a freak of nature when it comes to the ground. And I think he's going to zap Robert Whittaker's energy. By the time Robert Whittaker gets up, ready to throw shots, he's not going to have that same fire because he's going to be absolutely drained. Comes that's not great at stand-up, man. I will say that, though, as Gilbert Burns showed. And if Whittaker catches you, you're in trouble. But I just think the range and the reach helps Shimev in this fight. He's just got the physique to deal with Whitaker. He's a lot taller. He's a lot bigger. Listen, Adi Sanya had his moments. But this guy's a beast when it comes to ground and pound. And I think he's going to shade every round just with a ground and pound alone. That's going to be enough. And I actually see him stopping Whitaker. And I think Whitaker now, he's been in so many wars. He's such a great fighter. I love the guy's personality. He's so firm. His humility is fantastic. He's just a warrior. He doesn't mince his words. He's a great Australian ambassador for the sport. However, he's getting whooped in this fight. I do believe it. And I feel like Kamzat Chimev is just... His ground and pound's that good. It's Khabib vibes. He's just so dominating when, once he gets there. Even though he has had a lot of time out, I think that's going to help him in the long run. Chimev for that. And let us know your comments as well underneath. And the final fight, Ilya Tuporia versus Max Holloway. Now, Holloway has had some hard fights versus Volkanovski and Frankie Edgar. And against somebody of similar stature of those guys, sort of short, nimble, likes to calf kicks, likes to punch, likes to create the accuracy. Clearly, he likes to punch. That's why he's a UFC fighter. But um, I do believe that Tuporia, the supposed Georgian who drinks Trivellino, <laughs> it's a wine, it's a Georgian wine, Trivellino. Yeah. Um, I don't even think he's Georgian or Spanish. I don't know what he is. He claims more Spanish, Spanish Georgian. However, that aside, I think he is a good fighter, very good puncher he's explosive and i think he wins the exchanges because <sighs> holloway likes to set the pace and move fast but i think the accuracy will be with tuporia and the timing will be be with tuporia however i must say that if holloway catches him he's in trouble and you don't want to trade with holloway and he can knock him out <laughs> Holloway, but I just feel like the freshness, the volume, the accuracy and the sharpness is going to be with Tupori. I would just think now he's at the right age, the right stage in his career, whereas Holloway has had a lot of wars and against short sort of nippy fighters, he struggled. He struggled against Volkanovski, he struggled against Frankie Edgar, sort of got over him, but guys with the accuracy and sharpness Holloway needs you to be a little wild. Tupori is not wild. He's very, very compact. Very, very compact. Very, very sharp on his feet. And everything he hits you with is deadly. So I am going with Tupori on a unanimous. I don't know if he knocks. You know what? I'm going to say round... It's going to be a five-rounder. I'm going to say about round four. I do believe that 
he stop. I think it's going to be a bloody fight, but this time Holloway doesn't get the win. I think on this one, he loses. So I'm going with Kamzat Shimev for the victory and Ilya Tuporia for the victory for the two wins on Uzi Plays. Get your comments in. Tell me what you think. The next video I'm going to do is Campbell Hatton <laughs> um, in his rematch. Yeah, and that, that's going to versus Jimmy Finn, whatever he's called. Yeah, it's going to be a good fight. Um, that's going to be explosive. That's boxing. That is on the Regis Pro Grey versus Jack Carroll undercard at the Co-op Arena in Manchester. So that, look forward to that prediction. Chimev and Tuporia for the wins. Get your comments in, guys. Use your plays. It's been a minute. We're back. Peace.